And somehow, more important than this is this. As good as the machines are getting, it is not even the most important trend in AI right now. It is, in fact, how cheap they are getting. And of all the trends maybe in science that I care about, it is the precipitous decline in what we call inference cost, the cost to run the models that I am most excited about. And I care about this for a lot of reasons. The first is it is the trend that suggests AI is actually a, going to be a utility, that the research itself will not be owned by a select few, the way we observe pharma. And if you're willing to believe that AI is in fact following the path of utility, then what you also come to appreciate is that any time in human history, we have observed the utilitization or the commoditization of a critical resource, there has been an incredible economic outcome. This happened with water and foodstuffs and electricity and the internet. And in those cases, it took thousands of years or hundreds of years or at least dozens of years. And in AI's case, it's taken five. Five years for a very, very scarce resource to become very cheap. GPT-4 went from $60 per million tokens to $1.30. And that gives me, as much as anything else, hope that we are building something incredible for everyone to participate in. Now, given that we're building exceptionally smart machines and given that they're getting very cheap, then I can answer... Where are we going? And I will start by saying I don't expect anyone here to believe everything I'm about to say. It's okay. I'm not saying this because it's scriptural. I'm saying this because it's directional. I've spent a lot of time staring at this problem in an academic sense and in a practical sense. I've also learned that I am willing to argue these ideas a lot longer than you are. <laughs> I have missed flights to defend myself. But that being said, I promise you that it is okay to disagree with me. I am presenting these ideas to give you a chance to consider a future that maybe you haven't yet. And I will start with what I think is fairly simple and maybe I can convince you of, the integration phases of the AI revolution. How is this technology actually gonna arrive in our lives? Well, the first phase is the one we're in today. Enhanced applications, you know this very well. This is, as best described, ChatGPT. It is the first and arguably most important AI enhanced application ever. It reminds us that the technology is not sufficient. You must build the application that matters. And I'm reminded of this because we built GPT 3.5, the technology that powered the application, in June 2022. Anyone could have built ChatGPT between our launch date, November 30th, 2022, and that date. We did. And we reminded the world that you must build technology in ways that people understand and want to use it. And since then, we've seen this incredible Cambrian event. Tons of applications have flooded the market, many of them you use today. Now, the cool thing about enhanced applications is that it doesn't require we change behavior very much, and you're going to learn from much smarter people.